Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have uh, two Sauvignon Blancs in front of me from, I suppose, the capitals of um, uh, of Sauvignon Blanc in the world. Uh, one of them's from the Loire Valley and one of them's from New Zealand, both of which Loire Valley got there first and then New Zealand got in on the act and arguably has taken over the Sauvignon crown. Uh, is that the case? Let's see. Uh, first thing I would say is that um, in the Loire, the big names are Sancerre and Pouy Fumé. We've got something from a pretender to those crowns. Whereas in New Zealand, uh, Marlborough is the place that everyone thinks of with Sauvignon Blanc. Again, we've got a pretender to the crown there. Let's see how pretentious they are. Pretending? Pretentious? Anyway, I'll shut up. No, I've got to tell you what the wines are first. Uh, first one, Domaine de l'Hermitage, Manitou Salon. Um, and uh, 2014 vintage, uh, Manitou Salon. They do uh, white, they do... Uh, rosé and red made from Pinot Noir but the white's the main event and the good ones uh, hopefully Sancerre stroke perfume quality uh, will for a, a fewer centimes. Anyway let's give it a whirl. It's got that crisp dry earthy edge that uh, marks it out as to, as being an old world style rather than more a more exuberantly fu fruity um, new world style. Having said that uh, there are a few wines, I smell that, a few wines in bits of Chile and uh, South Africa and even some parts of Marlborough which uh, have this reserved fruit in the way that they have it here. So yeah you're getting lemon green gauge, a uh, bit of apple, a bit of herb, it smells like it's going to be perky and fresh. It is pretty tasty too. Um, it's a, there's a sappiness about it. it really, is quite sharp's the wrong word, um, uh, but there's a zestiness. There's a zesty bite to it. I wouldn't want to sit down and uh, drink that by itself. But if I uh, if I had a large plate of oysters, I would um, get through rather a lot of that. I'm going to have another swig. Some of that may even have gone down Red Lane, as my mother used to say. Um, wine number two. Uh, so this is Aotea. Aotea. Um, Sauvignon Blanc 2014 and the region it's from is Nelson. Uh, like Marlborough it's on uh, New Zealand's South Island but it's a bit further north and slightly more exposed uh, to uh, the, the weather that comes in on the west coast which is uh, distinctly chilly. Anyway let's try the wine. Again 2014 vintage. And this is, um, it, it's, got, it's got more fruit here, but it seems a, a, a slightly simpler style. Um, it's not uh, exuberant, exotic, tropical fruit uh, style that sometimes you can get in Marlborough. Uh, but there is this lemon and lime, green apple, and, but it hasn't got quite that herby, uh, fresh bite, or it hasn't, doesn't smell like it's got it, that I was seeing in the first one. Better, different, worse, better try it, isn't it? When you taste it, there's a bit of black currant leaf that comes through. Actually, that's quite smart wine too. Um, it's a richer, fleshier wine than the uh, the, the, the Manitou Salon, and probably as such, maybe not on the lighter shellfish. Maybe get in there with um, something. Like, yeah, maybe even even uh, getting into the tuna and salmon. Uh, it's it's got a, it's got a, quite a lot of uh, poke to it. Uh, but I wouldn't mind having it with some goat's cheese either. I'm going to have another swig of this. It's a more expansive style. Some people will love it for that. The other one is a little bit more restrained and some people will love the Manitou Salon for that. Um, it really is horses for courses. You, you, uh, Sauvignon Blanc does both styles really well. And um, I think of occasions when I would like, I would prefer one to the other, but other times it'd be the other way around. I like them both. I think when you come to see my scores, I'd probably give them rather similar, similar marks. Manitou Salon may be half a mark above, but both pretty good. See you soon.